G'day guys, Ben from Aussiac here to bring you another video. This one is going to be doing a product review into the Frill Neck Utility Hat. Okay, so as you can see, obviously uh, Australia gets a lot of uh, sunlight and you can get a lot of damage to your skin from UVA, UVB rays, and that's a, a potentially a big problem. Um, it can cause cancer and all those kind of things. So for those of you who like fishing, as, as I do, one of the things we really do need to think about is how can we address that? and what can we do to mitigate the risks of those kind of things. Um, personally, what I like to wear is uh, a long sleeve rash shirt, but I also find that the, the rays from the sunlight can be a bit of a big problem. Um, wearing something like a baseball cap is all well and good because it reduces glare to your eyes, but uh, it doesn't really do anything about the sunlight that hits your neck or your um, uh, upper face, that kind of thing. So what I did is I, um, I looked around and I found this particular hat. So this is the frill neck utility hat. Uh, you'll see me wearing it on a lot of my videos. I think it's great. Uh, it's made from a, uh, a lightweight nylon mesh fabric so it breathes well. Um, you can wear it in like a thousand different ways. Um, and it even has like a little pocket thing at the back of it uh, where you can keep I suppose um, valuables and that kind of stuff. So um, little zippered thing. You can access it from the outside. Um, bear in mind, of course, that uh, zips and salt water don't really go too well together, but uh, it's still something else that's there, and it's a bit of added value, which I think is, is a great thing in itself. Uh, I personally like the orange or the yellow um, sort of colours, and the reason that I like those so much uh, is because you stay visible. Uh, we've seen recently um, kikers getting run over by boats in New Zealand, and more recently by an army ho uh, by a navy hovercraft in America pretty crazy kind of stuff but uh, unless you stay visible, unless you make an effort to help other people see you, um, there is that risk that you're just going to end up getting uh, squashed by a boat so a um, bit of a risk there guys and, I, and I'd personally be uh, thinking about what I can do to, to mitigate that. So as you can see um, the hat itself is gives you this really long neck thing that goes right over your shirt onto your shoulders which is fantastic it's shaped so uh, you can goes right around your shoulder blades um, it's got these velcro tabs which um, mate up with other velcro all around it so I can put um, put this together like so um, or if I want to wear it further up I can do there's all sorts of different ways you can wear them and they cost I think it's about $30 tops and I've seen them in the shops for. I have seen them for less than that and there are copies out there. Um, I don't recommend going for the copies. I, I always believe in going for the original products. Um, in terms of um, functionality, I think these are great. The one thing I have found about this a little bit is that you, if there's a lot of wind going on, then they can get picked up by the wind. But, and in which case, um, I don't personally like uh, hiking and really strong winds I prefer to get uh, into some shelter so um, but in that case I'll just take the hat off and, and stow it in the kayak somewhere uh, so I don't lose it but price point uh, I genuinely think these are really really good and when you compare them to so many other hats on the market these are actually very price competitive so 9 out of 10 in terms of price point functionality uh, I think 10 out of 10 it's really really good um, and they stop you sort of having to rely on sunscreen as much as most people do. So uh, a really good product and highly, highly recommended. So thank you very much for watching. Well, thanks for watching. I'm going to be building my YouTube channel with an average of two videos per week, eventually covering all sorts of topics on kayak fishing from reviews of gear, reviews of kayaks, location reports, even hook and cook type uh, ideas for you. I'm looking forward to any comments or suggestions you might have. Please leave a comment below or you can message me directly through YouTube. If you liked the video, please like it. Please feel free to share this video on other social media such as Facebook or uh, Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time, tight lines and stay safe.